The integration of plugins into ChatGPT is a huge step up, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Today, we'll dive into the news of ChatGPT plugins and why you really need to know about this massive change in AI technology. As AI continues to evolve, staying at least somewhat up to date with these advancements will be crucial to thrive going forward. So if you're as interested as I am about the future of this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you won't miss out on any actionable AI news and content like this. Now let's talk about what it means to have plugins in ChatGPT. Plugins are small pieces of software that fit into a bigger piece of software. The same way you customize your phone with apps to make it more useful and personalized, ChatGPT plugins expand its capabilities in a big way. Let's first cover the plugins that are made by OpenAI. There's the browser plugin and the code interpreter plugin. The browser plugin allows ChatGPT to search the web, crawl websites, and return with relevant information. It's basically the same as using Bing Chat, so it's highly versatile, but still not quite reliable when it comes to facts. For example, I asked it, given the weather today, what are some good outdoor activities in Salt Lake City? Now, for reference, here's what the weather is right now today. There's actually a winter storm warning right now. But it replied by telling me it's 69 degrees with a high of 83 and recommended a variety of activities suited to that weather, and it told me to stay hydrated and wear sunscreen. It's always looking out for me, you know? The page that it referenced when it was giving me this information was a broken link, so it looks like it just hallucinated a bunch of crap info. I even asked it to double check for factuality, and it stuck to its guns, referencing the same broken link. Only when I told it that it's snowing right now did it actually check the Weather Channel website and then gave me some good snow activities. With that said, if I had a weather plugin and maybe TripAdvisor plugin, it could easily connect both of those directly and give me a much better, give me much better information right at the get-go. Their other plugin is the Code Interpreter, which has the ability to handle file uploads and downloads and to use Python. Now, the range of use cases for this is just crazy because you can upload a file, have ChatGPT modify it using Python however you like, and then you can download the finished product. And as awesome as this is, I also think it's a pretty strong indication that we're headed to a future where we don't really necessarily interact with websites anymore. Or maybe AI plugins will actually replace websites entirely. You know, as an online business owner, I don't know what that means for the future of my company, but I do know that I'm putting my entire focus on AI because even if my website doesn't get any traffic in the future, at least I'll be able to kick ass with AI. And since you're watching this video too, I hope you can too. And if you're interested in the potential of ChatGPT plugins and you want to stay informed on the latest AI developments and how you can implement them in your life, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're only getting started in this AI journey and we have so far to go. Now let's move on to the third party plugins, which is where things get even more interesting. I think the coolest third party plugin so far is the integration of Wolfram. You know, Wolfram is a powerful computational knowledge engine. With this plugin, ChatGPT gains access to Wolfram Alpha's vast database and computations, allowing it to answer complex questions and perform intricate calculations, something it completely failed at in the past. This combination of ChatGPT's language abilities and Wolfram Alpha's computational prowess, can, it, it, it creates a supercharged AI tool that can tackle complex problems in math, in science, in engineering, and more. You know, what does this mean for the speed of technological and scientific discovery? What happens when you give an AI an unsolved scientific problem and they can just solve it and move on? It's wild. Now let's do a rapid fire of the other third-party plugins. There's Expedia and Kayak. These plugins allow you to search for flights, hotels, and vacation packages directly. Then there's Fiscal Note. This plugin helps you track and understand the impact of regulations on your business or industry. Instacart. With this plugin, you can easily create shopping lists, find the best prices, and even place grocery orders through ChatGPT. It streamlines the whole process of grocery shopping. Then with the Milo Family AI plugin, families can manage their schedules, track chores, they can coordinate activities with ChatGPT acting as a virtual assistant. And with OpenTable, you can make restaurant reservations with ChatGPT. Simple, easy, convenient. Lastly is the Zapier plugin, which enables you to automate tasks and workflows without coding by connecting ChatGPT to over 5,000 apps and services. I don't even know where to start with this one because it's essentially one plugin for thousands of apps on Zapier. Insane. You know, these third-party plugins significantly enhance the capabilities of ChatGPT, making it more versatile, reliable, and useful for everyday tasks. By understanding and utilizing these plugins, you can unlock more potential out of ChatGPT and transform the way that you handle various aspects of your life. Now, as exciting as this is, it's also important to highlight some of the potential downsides. Although ChatGPT with plugins enabled has the potential to revolutionize aspects of our lives, the reliance on AI will definitely lead to job displacement, 
It will negatively affect traditional websites and businesses, and it may contribute to a society that values surface level knowledge and instant gratification over intellectual curiosity and self-improvement, even more so than social media does. Basically, we'll outsource all of our difficult decisions to AI. There's also the risk of misinformation, of inaccuracies, and privacy concerns as users share more and more personal and sensitive information with AI systems. As we continue to embrace AI technologies, we need to strike a balance between leveraging the power of AI and preserving human ingenuity, privacy, and financial accessibility. I don't know what that looks like, but I do know that it's absolutely essential to learn how to use these tools very well if you want to thrive going into an uncertain future. Now, if you want to access these plugins, make sure to sign up for the waitlist using the link that's in the description. You know, the introduction of plugins into ChatGPT marks a monumental leap in the world of AI. It makes it more useful, more customizable, and more powerful than ever before. From education to business, science, and art, these tools have the power to revolutionize countless aspects of our lives. If you'd like to discuss this further, I'd love to chat with, on Discord or Twitter or in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe while you're down there so you stay informed about the exciting and interesting and terrifying developments in AI. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.